Sometimes the best ideas are inspired by insults, like my content. Andrew Tate recently posted a video rant on wherever he posts his content. Isn't he banned on everything but like Rumble? His rant was disparaging the NFT craze and the Bored Apes in particular, while delivering his own version of financial advice about why it was stupid for him or anyone to buy NFTs and how people who fall for hype like that will always be broke, but he's better than you because he didn't. I'm paraphrasing here, but you get the gist. In his rant, he kept emphasizing that only a dork would buy JPEGs for tens of thousands of dollars. So the Degens responded the best way they know how, by launching a token named Dork. But surprisingly, Dork seems to have taken on a life of its own with a fairly steady trading volume of over a million dollars a day. The token's logo is also in homage to Andrew Tate himself, and the logo features a crudely drawn cartoon of his face. <laughs> Sir Peter's ETH, who launched the God Hates NFTs collection, is involved adding a little credibility to the self-deprecating meme coin. I'd love to tell you that this will die down like a regular meme coin and just rug and go away, but people are currently, seriously, doing hard technical analysis on this two-week-old shitcoin. TA is just astrology for men, and the only thing mooning are the ones showing their ass for buying thousands of dollars and trying to attribute legitimate trading patterns to a token that hasn't even been alive longer than your stiff socks have gone without a wash. Get help. Was that too harsh? I'm Tupac, of course, like and repost if you enjoyed this quick and useless crypto news.